there. Today we're going to be doing some training on your appointment module. Now how you can find that is right here on your left hand side of the screen. You click appointments and we're going to go ahead and be talking about all these modules that you see here. Now we'll also be covering some questions and the way you can find those questions is if you click on your help and go to contents or if you click on F1 that will also bring up our true ERP wiki page and under here you would go ahead and click on training and from training go to more detail and look for your appointments module and that's number 19 that will now pop up a bunch of questions that we're gonna go ahead and cover okay so if you would like go ahead and print this screen out so we can go ahead and get started with our training so first and foremost, um, there's a few different ways of creating appointments on your main calendar, okay? But before we go ahead and start creating appointments on the main calendar, the first thing you need to remember is to view the employees within the uh, main calendar is you have to have them set up as reps. Now let me go ahead and close this out. And to set up your reps, you would go to employee, and here is where you would go ahead and set up your rep. Okay, so you would click on the first button here and choose within which uh, rep you would like to use. Now, this um, reps that you see here are actually populated from your employee screen. So they do need to be added as employees first and then as reps to actually view them on the calendar. Okay, so in this case, if we were to add Jolly Roger. It would populate all the information that we added within their employee screen. Same thing as their address information as well as their rate information. In this case this is already populated. Now you would be using this rate information if you were not using our workshop module. Now there's a whole video on the workshop module but for now if you were to go ahead and um, outsource and use a representative, in this case, let's just say we're using Jolly Roger and we're outsourcing um, our electrical and our painting, you can set the ability of how well Jolly Roger does uh, on each service type. You can also choose a charge rate. Now within the charge rate, if we were to double click here, you can actually set the charge rate based on a fixed rate or a per hour, okay? And again, it would have the history of who this representative and which customers they have actually um, serviced within the past, okay? So we'll talk a little bit more about this later, but for this purposes only, make sure that you do have your rep set up in order to view them on the calendar, okay? So in this case, once you have all their information populated, go ahead and click Save. And now if we go to back to the appointments tab and click on main calendar, we now view Jolly Roger. Okay, so there's a few different ways, as I mentioned to you earlier, in actually creating a new appointment. Now, the best way I like to advise is to start creating on the main calendar in itself. Now, the other ways is if you click on this tab here, you'll be able to set the appointments from that tab there. Or if you're looking at your appointment list, as you can see here, we can view all the appointments that we have set up. You can also click on this new button here and that would go ahead and let us uh, create a new appointment. Why I say the best way is to um, enter the appointments from the calendar is if you double click on any one of these individuals here so again let's just say we're working with Jolly Roger and you double click within their field it populates all the information so it already enters the rep it enters the date that you've chosen it also enters the time so again for data entry it's a lot quicker if you go to the calendar and you double click on the rep or employee that you're creating this appointment for okay so now once we're here we would go ahead and just choose the employee um, who um, Jolly Roger will be working with so um, keep it simple 
From here, you could choose the date, as I mentioned to you earlier, the time, we can extend that time, and we can also choose the service. So the service that Jolly Roger actually provides. Now, if we were to choose electrical, that automatically populates their charge rate, okay? And because I have set them up for about two hours, it also populates the invoice total because his charge rate is actually $45 an hour. So really beautiful when it comes to, um, again, data entry because it calculates everything for you. So once we've done that, you can also select the type of equipment that needs to be used, um, if, if there is any equipment, and that will also populate on the appointment, okay? So in this case, we're gonna keep it nice and simple and click Save. So as you can see here, we now have an appointment for 4x4 World for Jolly Roger. So again, really simple, really easy to use. Okay, now these services that we were talking about earlier, let me just pop this open here, can be added in a couple ways. You can add them on this screen here, or, uh, or you can add them on the fly, or you can go here to your uh, top of the screen, click on employees, and then you would go to reps, and then you would go to services dash rep. And this would pull up all of the information that we have for our reps. Now if you click on electrical, double click on there, we now have the service description and the charge rate. Now mind you, if we just choose a charge rate, this is your rate per hour. If you click on fixed rate, this is your rate as a total. So meaning if they stay in your uh, branch or office and work for eight hours, this person is only char charging $45 for eight hours. So again, beware when you're um, selecting this fixed rate. This is not an hourly rate. This is a total rate. Okay, so because of that, we want this to stay an hourly rate. So we're gonna go ahead and just save it as it is. And from here, you can continue to click a new, um, click new, and then add a new service. You would type in the service description, and again, enter a rate, and uh, decide whether it's a fixed rate or an hourly rate, okay? So really simple. Now let's go back to our uh, appointments. Now from this screen here, you can also print your appointments, okay? Now to print your appointments, you would go to this little tab here, and you'll be able to select dates to and from. So if I wanted to print all my appointments from the 1st of October, I can select a particular rep or I can select all my reps. Okay, in this case, I'd like to go ahead and just see my rep, uh, Jolly Roger. I can do print itinerary, print list, repair parts, print my follow-ups. Now this is beautiful because again, at the beginning of the day, if you're setting the itinerary for Jolly Roger and you're uh, sending him out on a list of different appointments, if you print out this itinerary for the full day, they'll be able to actually view where they need to go and it will actually populate all the customer's information. Let me just give you a quick preview here. Just like so. So you see here that they're gonna be working on electrical. You have the client's name, address, where, they're needed to, where they need to go, phone number, what type of info, if there were any equipment details, what equipment uh, would be needed, if it's on site, um, lots, of, lots of detailed information here that you can actually print out for your reps. Now this um, printout, this um, template can actually be edited. Again, there's a huge uh, video on how to create your own template and edit your own template. But in this case, um, go ahead and watch it when you want to go ahead and do so. Um, but in this case, we're gonna stay with this one. Okay, so let's go ahead and close this out. You can also email those itineraries or you can email the list to Jolly Roger. 
So really, really uh, user friendly when it comes to that because again, if you have some of your reps out in the field and they don't want to go ahead and use paper, you can go ahead and just shoot them out an email. And again, it will populate all the information, date, time, how long they need to be there. Okay. Now the calendar communicates with the roster. Now when I say roster, if you click here on your employee section, you also have a roster right here. The calendar communicates actually to lots of different modules within uh, True ERP, but I'll go over a couple of them here for you today. Now again, if we click on employee and go into our roster, if we were to choose, um, let's just say here we set a amount of days and we select an available for this particular employee and we click save this now will communicate to our calendar okay so we'll go to the uh, appointments main calendar and now we have this individual as unavailable now here we're on day mode but if we go ahead and click on month mode we'll be able to view the particular um, individual as unavailable now in this case we're only viewing one rep we want to go ahead and click all and that will populate all of our reps okay so again you have different ways of viewing your calendar you have day mode where you'll view each individual rep just like so you have week mode and you also have month mode now when you're in day mode, beware that you can actually set your time increments. Now in this case I have my time increments as 30 minutes. You can uh, go as far as an hour, okay? You can go as small as 15 minutes if you'd like to view it in that way, okay? But in this case, let's go back to 30 minutes. You can also select the date. Every time you close and you pop open your calendar, it will default to today's date. Not only will it default to today's date, you'll see a yellow bar across and that is the current time, okay? Again, you can select different dates within this, this little section here. And you can also filter on appointment status. So if you'd like to see what's approved, what's canceled, deleted, um, not approved, you can also filter on that, okay? Now here you can also customize, even though you have particular reps, within um, as, as uh, added into your calendar you can also customize here and actually add or remove any reps you'd like to okay so again fully customizable in this section perfect all right so again we have week mode and we have your month mode okay now beware on your month mode again if you have all clicked you'll see all your um, employees or your reps if you unclick that you can choose which employees rep and reps you would like to go ahead and uh, select all right perfect okay so as I mentioned earlier a true ERP this appointments main calendar actually communicates to many different parts within um, the system so we've already gone through your employee and roster now we're going to go ahead and take a look at your workshop. Now again, if you were in your workshop module, down here on the left hand side, and you were creating repairs. Now again, there's a whole video on workshop and uh, repair, so please, please watch it. I'll go through this a little bit quickly, but I just want to create and show you how it actually communicates with the calendar. So if you were to click on your repairs list, and click on one of these items that you see here, and let's just uh, select the first one that we have here. And let's say from here on this repair section, we want to create an appointment for our customer. We can go ahead and do that by just clicking here to appointments and then clicking on appointments again to add new. And again, it will communicate with the calendar and it will pop up the calendar. And from here, you can choose which rep we'd like to uh, assign to that particular customer. So again, double click and we'll go ahead and enter a particular time. All the information is populated, okay? We'll choose a service, okay? And it automatically enters that information for us. 
and we'll click save and again we'll save here now notice before we click save we have the time scheduled okay but we don't have the actual time that it actually happened or the repair took place because it hasn't taken place yet but we're gonna go ahead and save that let's just say our rep went ahead and did that appointment so let's go back here and it's gonna ask you do you wish to open the appointment or the repair in this case we want to open the appointment so we'll click on open appointment and let's just say our rep has been to the place has made some changes they've, they've actually uh, gone there and spent a little bit extra time you can now click here on repair and it will ask you do you, you want to copy the actual time and date to the repair in most cases you would want to click yes and again same thing click yes and it's going to now if we pop into the appointment section fill out the actual time and date and the amount and the service that was performed for that employee or for that customer so really really wonderful when it comes to uh, setting your appointments through the calendar or through your rep or your workshop list okay so another place your main calendar actually communicates within a uh, true European one of the other modules it communicates to um, that works beautifully is under your marketing section here and if you were to go ahead and work on your leads now if we pop open our lead list and again I'm gonna go through this rather quickly just because of the fact that there's a whole other module with within uh, true ERP and another video with a true ERP um, that covers your marketing and lead list but if we were to be working on one of our leads just like so and we were creating an appointment from this section we can do that by just simply clicking appointment and once we go ahead and click appointment it will pop open again your reps or your employees you would just double click on where or who that um, appointment belongs to and it automatically fills in that information really great stuff you can make some adjustments if you'd like to do so and once again click save now the beauty of that is that that also saves everything on your lead list so it shows here that on this date you were able to set an appointment it shows you the particular status who it's with and if you had any notes within that appointment so really really great when you're making your lead calls because it actually memorizes and keeps everything all uh, within this main screen here that you see all right so let's go ahead and save that Perfect. Now let's talk about another uh, little section that it um, that we have here in your appointment section, which is your support call list. Now the first thing to remember is that in order to have your customers actually pop up in your support call list, is you would need to add them to this list. Now how to do that is if we go ahead and double click on our customer, you would need to go to your generals tab within any one of your customer okay and you need to turn this on right here phone support until so here you would set until which date this person will be receiving their phone support okay so once you have that turned on and you have a particular date you can go ahead and just click save and let's go ahead it's asking for a source where I actually have that turned on but let's go ahead and click save just like so and now once you've clicked save now you'll be able to view your customers on the support list now once you have them on your support list if you click on the date on the support list it will now pull up your support log now within your support log you have here um, your contact information of which customer you're working with what exactly are you working with them on the particular issue you can even assign it to different customer um, different employees if you need to okay and here they can even add a solution okay was what was the type was it a data issue was a follow-up was it just a training problem if there's a particular version 
okay you can do it from here as well now if you use this team viewer section here that will actually launch a team viewer and allow you to see the screens now this is exactly what we use to support our customers so if you click on team viewer that will launch and you'll be able to go ahead and support them um, and see their screen if you need to do so this also records the call time so you'll be able to see how long this particular person worked with this customer and the call time how long did they take with this customer you can print this you can email you can add or repair lots of things that you can do within your support log okay but again just remember that in order to add them you have to go to the customer card and turn on the support for that particular customer all right let's go ahead and go back and again here you'll be able to add your public holidays okay so here you can add if you um, have particular holidays um, depending on what uh, country you can add them here and that's basically all that we have to do with appointments so um, if you have any other questions again feel free to look in your help uh, section here or call any one of our support numbers. Thank you very much and have a great day.